Residents and patrons of Mighty Beach in Accra are urging authorities and stakeholders to take action by instituting coastal sanitation officers to combat the persistent issue of, bin, of beach littering. They emphasize that the current situation poses a detrimental effect on the environment, tourism and national development, requiring urgent measures to address this pressing issue. City News' Christopher Kevin Asima has more in this report. Climate change, recognized globally as a multiplier of health risk, has the potential to expose many Ghanaians, especially those in contact with highly polluted beaches, to preventable diseases associated with poor sanitation. Rising temperatures, unpredictable rain patterns, and extreme events such as floods create a favorable environment for pathogens from open defecation and solid waste to multiply. Rising sea levels also directly support waste materials from nearby lagoons and drains being littered on the beach. With the declaration of the year of return, about a million tourists seeking to trace their ancestral roots visit the country, with majority of them visiting former slave castles and forts along the coast. Most people coming into the country for both business and leisure will definitely be fought living, want to spend some time with nature. Many of them will definitely want to see the coastline of Ghana. Today, I'm here at Mighty Beach to see how the situation is in terms of how we keep the coastal line of Ghana. As you can see behind me, it's a very beautiful sight. But the same cannot be said about what is next to me. Over here, you would just some few steps walk into this field and you would ask yourself whether we are really interested in promoting coastal tourism. This field goes all the way along the beach to the top. This water you're seeing here in your shot is coming all the way from the Sakumono Lagoon and it comes through all the way down and goes into the sea as you can see in your shots. Heaps of organic and inorganic waste producing an irritating smell could be seen all along the beach area, making it unattractive for sun bathing, swimming or exercising. Some patrons who spoke to City News appealed for measures to be put in place to curb the perennial menace of shore littering while calling for punitive measures to deter the practice. Some years ago, I used to come here with my parents and we had like really great memories and all, but now the place is really filthy and when you come here, the experience is not just the same. And I think it's mainly due to the um, negligence of the authorities. No one is really paying attention to what goes on over here. And they're like expensive, um, cool places around here, but they just focus on their business and no one cares about tidying up the place. We usually come here to swim and exercise, but these days when you come, you can't even swim because of all the dirt and everything in the water. So we just exercise and when we are done, we just clean ourselves and we head back home. Sometimes when we come here, the rubbish, like, there are too many. Sometimes when people even swim, the rubbish, they, like, plant is near, they, it, it, it enters into uh, their mouth. So some mostly, like, they, they don't come and swim. I'm very concerned about how filthy the place is sometimes. It makes it so uncomfortable to eat and sit in because well you can't be eaten in by refuse so um, I feel like fines should be taken penalties should be given to people who act as lawbreakers and go ahead to make the beach filthy I feel like periodically there should be cleaning arrangements made according to ocean advocate Collins Littleton Irresponsible actions by residents living along the beach exacerbating the situation, putting lives along the shores in real danger. He urged the government and stakeholders to collaborate and embark on massive public education to ensure that the country's beaches are clean. I tell you what, we have organizations, NGOs who, are, who have started right now doing um, beach cleanups to make sure that these um, plastics that we see, we collect the raw data and then send it out to uh, people who help best make sure that the fight against the plastics or the fight against the rubbish that we are seeing around is minimized. However, you still have a roadblock where it's coming from the people that are in authority to make sure that things are done in a proper way.
Although there's evidence of some insanitary activities by coastal dwellers, the insanitary condition at the beach presents an extremely difficult task for Crow Municipal Assembly under whom jurisdiction mighty beach falls. The Municipal Chief Executive, Joshua Niboti, laments the financial strength on the Assembly in keeping and maintaining a clean beach. He explains to City News the challenges the Assembly faces and urge the public to join efforts to keep the environment clean. If I went there, uh, I think a week ago, I didn't see that. But if you have gone there and you have seen it, I have to go there and then we keep on cleaning. But it's all about money. We have to change our attitude entirely, not only the environment, towards the environment, but towards everything. It's just bad. It involved a lot of money. In fact, I had to use my compactor to go three times to the dumping site. Because we were cleaning, we were transporting the refuse to the dumping site. We were cleaning, we were transporting the three times in a day. So if people have dumped again, then it's an unfortunate situation. The money that we should use for our roads, for hospital, for education, this is where we are ending up. Looking for a permanent solution to the situation, environmental scientist and director of the Institute of Environmental and Sanitation Studies at the University of Ghana, Professor Chris Gordon, believes the situation requires a total change in mindset and human behavior and can be dealt with through a deliberate plan. The waste issue is not an institutional problem. It is a problem of mindset and behavior of every one of us Ghanaians. The only thing then institutions can do is to create an enabling environment to make sure that we do the right things. The fact that we do not segregate waste at source in the house, the fact that we overuse plastics, the fact that in many parts of the country, no processes for recycling and removing the waste burden means that we have a very long way to go before we'll have a permanent solution. Here at Mighty Beach, you can see me surrounded with all kinds of waste and filth. The question is, how is the country properly protecting its coastline and marketing it for both domestic and international tourism exports? For City News, I am Christopher Kevin Asima reporting.